750, Big 550 KTRS, broadcasting from the First Rule Film and Broadcast Studios, 16th floor of University Tower. Joining us now is Quentin Ortega, who is a uh, uh, owner of a, a new company. Uh, I guess you're part of this new Young Guns, right? I mean, that's the... <laughs> I guess so, yeah, part of the local startup scene that's happening. We're going to need you to talk sure. right in the microphone. Yeah, part of the local startup scene that's happening. Yeah. Uh, your company's called is Lumate. That's correct. Okay, yeah. and you're from Southern Illinois. Southern Missouri. Southern Missouri, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, went to Rolla, mm -hmm. engineering genius, <laughs> not wearing a pocket protector. You you took it off for a TV. <laughs> uh, what is what is Lumate? Well, Lumate actually builds a technology that's for uh, kind of optimizing the delivery of mobile ads to uh, to your mobile device. So okay. basically, it's about the technology behind delivering the right ad at the right time, the right place kind of deal. Okay, for so sure. for example... Uh, for example, you know, if you're near uh, near a location that has an offer, I mean, I, I think we're here today to talk about coupons a little bit after this. And, right. and so, you know, if you're close to a place that, that you might want to go but you didn't know about necessarily, then we could potentially put an ad, uh, you know, on your phone that would allow you to be like, oh, hey, there's a deal over there. I should go check that place out. And that's really where uh, kind of mobile couponing is headed, right? So delivering the offer. Uh, at the right time to so that it'll incentivize someone to go in a store, go in a physical place, or go online and purchase something. Right. Uh, Groupons and all of those were the new greatest thing, but they've sort of waned and had a whole lot of trouble because the 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 stores found out that people waited for the great deals, and then once the deal stopped, the people stopped coming in. Sure, absolutely. And and Groupons, I was actually just talking about this the other day with someone who's who's looked at a lot of the statistics around Groupon. They're actually very uh, it's very expensive for stores, for retailers to get involved with Groupon, and, and uh, it costs a, f a fair amount, obviously, if they're giving 50% off or whatever it is. Uh, and like you said, they don't get a lot of return customers out of it. Oftentimes, right. it's it's not a return customer deal like they hope it is. Yeah. All right. So this was your idea, this this company? I uh, mine and a couple of my cohorts uh, right. at uh, at S and T while we were going down there. We started it while we were still in school in, in two thousand eight, and uh, and really, you know, our our role is is not just around coupons. It's around you know delivering just advertisements and stuff like that in general. But uh, speaking directly of you know about coupons here in St. Louis, there are a fair amount of startups who are focused. Uh, on on where this couponing is going around town, such as uh, aisle four one one. If you guys have heard of them, right? You can't uh, find the milk. Down sure, they your do in store mapping, and that allows. I don't get that, that one. Allows. I don't. I mean, I just. It's, isn't it easier just to ask the guy stocking the shelf where sure. the milk is? I mean, I would think so, but I think a lot of a lot of younger generation people that are very mobile friendly would prefer just to look it up instead of trying to search for that guy up and down the aisles, right? Right. So. Uh, I like also your company. Um, you are an Arch Grant recipient That's correct. too, right? Yeah, absolutely. First class, two thousand twelve. Of arch grants uh, and we've done capital innovators and and several of the other programs around town so it's it's been a great experience so far arch grants explain arch grants because that's sort of a neat project that's sort of uh, exclusive to st sure. louis yeah absolutely arch grants is a uh, non-for-profit located here in st louis which gives away uh fifty thousand dollar non-dilutive grants uh to startups that are willing to move their they company just give to you downtown. fifty thousand dollars they don't want any equity in the company no equity no they they give you fifty thousand dollars plus a lot of in-kind services from various uh law offices accounting firms and stuff like that around town. Uh, and and the it's only a really thing great you deal. have to do is have your headquarters here in St. Louis. Come to St. Louis. Yeah, right. that's what they're looking to do. And, and, and they've drawn a lot of new companies into town uh, from various parts of, of not only Missouri, but from around the world. Uh, entrepreneurs have moved here with their with their startups. You so, guys must be doing something right because you have an office. You're moving to Rolla too, right? Yeah, we actually have. Uh, so uh, about eight months ago, we opened an office down in Rolla. So we have our headquarters up here in St. Louis and uh, secondary office in Rolla where we were kind of born and raised as far as entrepreneurship goes. And, mm -hmm. and uh, we use that to, to find the best of the best programmers down there and, and kind of bring that talent pipeline up to St. Louis. Talk for a moment about uh, not just the infrastructure, but now we've had this sort of tech corridor for a couple of years. Is it growing? Is it stagnant? Are people saying it's a good thing and it's really not a good thing? I mean, is the spin living up to the hype and is the hype living up to the spin? Yeah, absolutely. I think that uh, it's definitely growing. There's definitely more companies coming in all the time. I get contacted personally, directly, at least probably once or twice a month by a new company that's moving into town because of some of these programs that are, you know, incentivizing uh, companies to come here, asking like, okay, what do you think of St. Louis? What's going on? Uh, I think the main one of the real struggles with it is that a lot of the startup community it's, it's kind of uh, not reaching out to the general public of St. Louis, right? So there's a lot more going on downtown that I feel like a lot of people in St. Louis are unaware of, and because the startup news kind of stays within the startup sector, it doesn't right. it doesn't get out to kind of the mainstream media locations. Yeah, downtown is actually they say perfect for this type of thing. Why is that? 
Sure. I mean, we've been located downtown uh, since we moved the company up here in 2012. And uh, it's great because, I mean, th there's a pre-existing infrastructure downtown, right? There's all these buildings. Uh, if anybody's been down there, they know that, th unfortunately, there's a lot of vacant buildings downtown because right. there w it was a huge industrial center for so many years. Right. Uh, and now, you know, with that infrastructure already in place, it makes it a great opportunity for, for small companies to be able to move in, have kind of the building blocks there. Uh, when you don't, as a startup, you don't necessarily have the... Um, you know the the finances to just build your own building somewhere, right? right? So, so you, you have you have cheap use. rent mm -hmm. and you have great infrastructure. For some reason, St. Louis has great infrastructure, not just in terms of roads and water and le electricity, but also internet as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's a, a fair amount of fiber going in uh, downtown and, and connecting many of the uh, data centers and stuff that are downtown. A lot of people don't know there's actually a major data center downtown and all of the uh, various corporations downtown are putting in high-speed internet as well. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the uh, the Google Fiber thing right. that was a big deal for Kansas City, but right. you know, maybe in the future we yeah, can uh, so get going coming. on that. So <laughs> is your Lumate, is it an app? Is it a, how do well, how do I take advantage of it? Sure. So Lumate actually, like I said, is an, uh, kind of a back-end technology. And so we are in over 5,000 apps. So really just being on your phone, we're probably affecting uh, you know some of what's happening and, and how those advertisements are being delivered without actually having to do anything else oh. but be in apps. So is it with not only local companies, but other companies outside yeah, of St. Louis? Yeah, companies around, around the world with a focus right now and around uh, the country, the U.S. So, right. Yeah. So, so in other words, if I'm looking at a different app, let's say I'm looking at the Post-Dispatch app or the KTRS app, sure, absolutely. Um, and an ad pops up or something, chances are that's Lumate noticing where I am and saying, hey... You know, there's a um, St. Louis Closet Company offer right down the street or something. Well, I would like to say it's always us, right? But uh, obviously there are other players out there doing this stuff. But, yeah, we're growing in that field, and, and hopefully that will be us. And, and you know, delivering and, you know, to kind of tie it back to the, the coupon, the local couponing thing, delivering back to that, it's uh, our piece is just kind of a bigger piece of the infrastructure that's growing here. There's there's Isle 411 that's also doing this. There's Rover Town downtown, which is a company, another startup that's focused on delivering deals to college students uh, and on their campuses via mobile phone. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's there's even a company that is strictly a couponing company called Dealy Do that has a partnership with Fields Foods downtown, and and you can go in there and scan. At the register, scan the barcode on the app, and it'll give you all the coupons that would apply to your grocery shopping list, and it'll also track your receipts and stuff like that for so you. So is it not a lot of cool anymore to to, coup to do couponing <laughs> as, out of the newspaper? <laughs> as, as, as I have these stack of coupons uh, here in front of me that came in the mail yesterday, for sure. Um, I, I mean, I think it's still cool. I think it's always going to be there. There's always going to be that. But right now, um, last year alone, there was over over 380 billion uh, physical coupons sent out for consumer goods, but only about 3 billion of those were redeemed, right? So that's wow. a less than 1% of those are getting redeemed. Well, that's the whole um, idea is to, is sure. to, is to find it, spur it, and then lose it from the time you saw it, and then get into the store. <laughs> right, but I mean, but at the same time, sending those ads out, sending an ad out, or a coupon out by uh, by mail costs the company about twenty five cents per person over over time if you average that out, which is pretty high, right? Right. Where they can deliver a uh, kind of a digital mobile coupon and get the same thing. Right now. Uh, in the past, within the next year, there'll be about 19 billion mobile coupons that'll be starting to be delivered, and and then in, within three to five years, about 32 billion. Cute. Um, uh, Quentin, definitely increasing. Quentin Ortega, the company is Lumate. How do we find out more information about it? Sure, absolutely. You can learn a little bit more about our company specifically by going to www.lumate.com. That's L-U-M-A-T-E. Dot com, or if you want to just uh, follow me on Twitter, I tweet a lot about the local startup scene as well as ad tech uh, and the mobile industry in general, and that's at Quentin Ortega, Q U E N T I N O R T E G A. You got it. Thanks for coming in. Thanks so much, guys. Good Thanks luck for with me. the book. You got Appreciate it. it. Yeah. Seven.